all right in this video we are going to see how to create a snowl scroll snap with elementor now you can see we are going to add a custom score a uh, custom scroll snap using javascript now if i scroll down there is a section so this is a section once i reach half of this section you uh, will see that the window will be scroll snapped to this shaping the future section let me scroll down a bit a bit more but the catch here is it will work only once the page loads so i am refreshing it again let us scroll down a bit now once you see this section scrolling a bit scrolling a bit now so you can see it's got snapped again now the main focus of this uh, uh video is to create a section which is 100% uh, of the viewport height so you can see once i scroll a bit you will be scroll snapped to this particular section you can see the full design of this without losing the quality that's the main quality that's the main purpose of creating scroll snap for this particular website now let's see again we got scroll snap now at on a at a particular glance the visitor can view the full design without breaking without the break of screen now you just have to understand some javascript before that for that we need to add two style two id so as you know we have two sections the first one is the full width uh, full height section and the second one is the target so i'll create so i'll add two classes to it so i'll just show you what are the two classes so the target for next section this id this id you need to give to this section you can see this two section and the next one which is the full width uh, full height section for that you have to give this id i hope you uh, by now you know where to give id get into the elementor on the advanced tab you will see a uh, two text field to add classes or id you can add in those uh, input field now let me explain you how it is how we have created this now for now this uh, this effect is will work only when the window size is greater than 1000 pixels that mean it is not going to work for mobile version so this is the first condition so when there is a scroll so when i scroll i want to run a run a function don't worry about the flag i'll don't worry about this flag i'll explain in a bit so when there is a scroll we are going to run this function so once this function is run we need to get the target element which is the position where we need to add scroll snap so this is one we are getting the target position and storing into a div value so this div value we are going to get the position from the top so what do i mean by that so this is the top position and from the top we have we need to get the position of uh, this particular div by here so how we are going to get this get bounding client rect so this will give you the top position with the calculation this will give you the value from top to this section so once we reach the particular position the value will be in a negative once it gets negative then we need to have the scroll snap effect so this is a jquery i am targeting the body that means the html and scroll once we reach the condition we need to scroll and snap this section that's what i am adding so this is the 30, 30 pixel padding so for the sticky menu at present it's not working it should be a sticking menu then that's the reason i am adding 30 if if that if you don't have to add 30 you just if you, if you don't have a sticky menu you you can just add this much line of code so once the flag what is the flag so the flag is for on each scroll what is going to run what is going to run this function is going to run so i want to stop the function once we have reached the scroll snap section so that is why i have added if by default it is going to false if it is false run the function once we land into a scroll snap section then make the flag true then again if we scroll 
this function is not going to work because it's a condition if it is true don't run so i hope it's clear get the source from the description thank you so much for listening